Uh, Brandon, you're too tall, dude. You need to step back. There you go. Sit down. <laughs> That's amazing. So, so tell, tell me about this week. First of all, introduce yourself. All right. uh, I'm Brandon from Lifetime and Live RC, Live FPV, Live Race Media, all the live stuff. All the live stuff. All yeah. the live so stuff. what what makes uh, your brand unique and unusual? Uh, we focus on all the timing and scoring and integrating that with the live coverage. Yep. So we've done a lot of work in terms of working with Chris and FPV Live yep. in terms of getting the graphics on the screen, really trying to elevate things next level. Yeah, man, and it's doing a wonderful job. you got a great scoring system, and it's pretty much uh, uh, every single one of the regional finals for the multi-GP was run by your system. It was. Yeah, yeah so absolutely. far it's... Uh, it's been gaining a lot of traction. It's been really good. We've had some awesome feedback, and it's been a blast working in the uh, FPV yeah. industry. So you guys come from cars primarily, right? Car? Right. Yep. yep. And that's uh, nitro or electric cars yep. mostly? Okay. Yeah, we started with RC cars, and it was a natural progression to go over to the FPV side of things. Yep. Um, now we've expanded into full-size auto racing, motocross. You know, if it races, we're there. Yep, absolutely. Cool. So um, so I, I know Shannon Bursa. Yep. Right? Yeah. He kind of helped uh, work with you a little bit, did he not? Yeah. yeah. Shannon's been awesome to oh, work yeah. with. He's, uh, he's a great guy to work with. Really has given us some valuable information and, you know, helped us, you know, getting new – being exactly. new to FPV a couple of years ago, you really kind of pointed us in the right direction. Yep. Told us the right guys to talk to, multi-GP. Yep, and, yep. Uh, it's been a great asset. Yeah, absolutely. Helping develop that FPV version, which is, uh, you know, taking the great elements of uh, car racing, which you guys are used to, and melding it with uh, FPV, right? Yeah. So, cool. Yep. All right, back again, back again. All right. I got Brandon here with Live Time, uh, and I'm Ty Wall with FPVLive.tv here at the International Open. Uh, we're at the World Cup track. And it's kind of a hybrid course. We got uh, half LED, half lights, <laughs> just to kind of show. Uh, unfortunately, we ran behind because of the team races. It took a little bit longer. Team race was great. It was fun, but uh, um, that's part of drone racing too. Right, you know what I mean? Yeah. So, uh, what, one thing I'd like to talk about is uh, some of the feature sets that are in Lifetime RC or okay. FPV, I should say. Right? Sure. Honestly, that's a yes. new new branded version. Um, as far as uh, race formats and. How does the race formats come from cars to to FPV? Sure. Well, when we first started uh, Lifetime FPV, most of it was using the RC car formats. But yep. we've, as requests come in, we've really been adding every format we can possibly think of. Um, the bracket racing, the uh, even team racing, yep. elimination, anything and everything we can do. Double elimination, single elimination, heads yep. up. I mean, the whole whole nine yards, right? Correct. Yep. Good. And uh, and that's something that uh, is. Somewhat new to FPV, right? It's usually like point per lap, and, yep. you know what I mean? That kind of stuff, which is honestly not very eventful when it comes down to the final races, right? You know what I mean? If you're doing point per lap, it's tough to track on right. who the top people are unless you're watching a screen or something like that, right. which is good because you can watch it on your uh, uh, live stream, it's right? true, yes. Exactly, which is good. But, but having double elimination and bracketed type of uh, eliminations always kind of boils it down to – all the top people end up in the final races, and yeah. you know who's going to end up on top. Period. Right. Right? So um, now, as far as stats are concerned, you guys have a plethora of stats that you can produce out of your application. Can you give right. us a rundown of something like that? Sure. So, you know, at the end of events, everything is synced in real time, so you can look at stats in the system or up in the cloud on livefpv.com. Okay. Right. Every track has a portal. You can see how many laps have been done in the track history for the event history, how many laps cool. each pilot has done. You can look at every pilot's individual practice sessions, their history, race results. Every lap that's done is tracked and categorized so you can follow along and see really whatever you want. Absolutely. That's awesome.